Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to share my experience with the LG C2 as a computer display which is the size of 42 inch. So let's get started. Also I'll share some settings that I have placed in order to have the best experience. So click on the settings menu on your remote and a game optimizer menu will show to show you the FPS, the VRR, in my case I have the FreeSync Premium because I have an AMD GPU it show you some stuff go to settings picture mode I have selected the game optimizer and I've placed some settings of my own I'll show you what I have set go to brightness OLED pixel brightness 200 contrast to 85 Black level as a default 50 Dynamic tone mapping on Video range to auto Color, you go to color and play put the color depth to 65 to get some vivid colors Color gamut to dynamic White balance, you can adjust the color temperature between warm and cold. I've seen some people putting it on warm 50, however, I personally prefer to have it on the zero, per zero point. Then, fine tuning is turned off for PC. So, go to clarity, adjust sharpness to zero. Out of the box, it comes as 10, but I prefer to remove any. Uh, any arti artificial sharpness space to keep it natural so exit clarity film maker mode auto start so now you can go to the sound menu I have connected my sound bar the katana version 2 to it using an optical cable so I can have audio coming both from the TV and the sound bar at the same time so in order to, for that you need an optical cable then you can go to settings activate the Dolby Atmos and if you have put the TV on a stand put an installation type to stand if you have it a wall mounted you can select the wall then go to general I have disabled the AI services the AI brightness etc in order to not have fluctuations in the brightness and go to game optimizer now check some game settings so game general to standard reduce blue light off dark room mode off prevent input delay to boost game dashboard AI game sound gives you a better sound overall VRR and G-Sync AMD FreeSync premium all turned on fine tune to zero go to picture like stabilizer to eight and I put, I put it like this to have a better black then white stabilizer to zero because if you put it on 10 you can see the clouds are getting a bit dimmer and washed up the whiteness of it while if you put it back to zero you can see they are more white they give you better white so I put it on zero then contrast to 85 like before black level 50 sharpness to zero color depth to 65 and tone mapping on all things are clear now I would like to state that some people found it very annoying about the ABL or auto brightness limiter it will just uh, adjust the brightness across all the screen and eventually it gets a bit dim as you can see in the Amazon website, like if you increase the size of the window, it will dim a bit. However, I didn't find it annoying and in fact having a full screen with full brightness all the time would eventually strain your eyes. So I didn't uh, find it much annoying and uh, it's barely no noticeable by the time you get used to it. So guys, that's it for this video. I leave you with some HDR video testing and some gameplay of Horizon 
in PS5 and I really hope you enjoyed this video and please if you did so like and subscribe to my channel I'm still trying to understand how to do some stuff of the sort I really like to do video content and upload so you can get an idea in a detailed manner and so I'm trying to work on on this scale and make the best videos possible however it's a long curve and I understand that it's I understand the quality of videos are not going to be on par on as of many other viewers out there but I'm really trying to get there and eventually I hope to do so so please support my channel if you can and like and subscribe and I'll see you next time have a good day